joining us this morning. We have Wendy Hickey, the founder and executive director of Art Pop Street Gallery and one of the featured artists, Junior Gomez. Hey, it's your boy, Junior. Have you ever thought about how it would be like to be on live TV? Or have you ever thought about like the behind the scenes aspect? I'm here to tell you my experience on how it went. So first and foremost, let me tell you how I got on TV. So it was earlier this year, there was an event in Charlotte, North Carolina called Shout. Wendy Hickey, the founder of Art Pop Street Gallery, reached out to me, wanting me to join her in the being on the news. But I didn't know until the day before. Well, no, that morning. And of course, if anyone tells you you're gonna be on live TV, when you've never been on live TV, your first response is absolutely not. But because I never turned down challenges, I said, you know what, why not? Let's do this. So when we arrived on property, I was trying to stay calm and collective. I was trying to ease my nerves by talking to Wendy, just trying to get everything at ease and calm. So right before you're about to go on air, they would take you to a back room and just try to explain to you what's gonna happen, what are they gonna ask you. What's really cool about this is that you get to see all the prompts and all the monitors and everything just rolling at once. Then they bring you onto stage. Then you start to talking. This is when a live TV happened and this is how it went. Excitement building this morning with the showcase of local talent kicking off tomorrow and running through mid-April. Joining us this morning, we have Wendy Hickey, the founder and executive director of Art Pop Street Gallery and one of the featured artists, Junior Gomez. How excited are you guys for kickoff so tomorrow? So excited. We can't wait. Yeah, yes. we're ready. I mean, tell me a little bit about Art Pop and kind of what that is for people who don't know. Sure. We're, uh, Art Pop Street Gallery is a 501c3 nonprofit that showcases the work of local artists and helps them to achieve sustainable success. Mm -hmm. And uh, every year we feature 20 local artists. Most people know us by billboards. So you'll see our okay. local artists that, on billboards. And um, we're starting the Charlotte Shout tomorrow. Right. And Friday through Sunday, we'll have uh, four different artists set up every weekend of Shout. And Junior Gomez is one of our artists. So mm -hmm. tell me what it means to you to be a part of this. I mean, it's just such an amazing collaboration of all artists. No, absolutely. So being a part of our Pop Streets Gallery's family and being a part of Shout is just an incredible opportunity to have my work displayed at mm -hmm. and exhibited in front of people as they're walking around the event. It's just a massive opportunity. Right, and, and we have your pin. I mean, this is incredible. Oh, thank you. I tell, appreciate can that. Can you tell me a little bit about this? Absolutely. Kind of the inspiration? I mean, it's just looking at it, it just brings awe to everybody. <laughs> thank you. So I every year I take a trip somewhere around the world. Last mm -hmm. year I took a trip to Thailand. This painting was inspired by my trip and I came back and I wanted to show something that represented my time and experience there mm -hmm. so this was basically what I did what I created so what are some <coughs> ways that people can support local artists because obviously going to these events are great but there are other ways to support local artists as well absolutely I think you know the, the most important thing is to support them by collecting art from them mm -hmm. and if you're not in a position to do that then follow them on social media tell a friend about them comment and like their posts um, to help grow their algorithms and, right. and help them be more successful go to their websites um, just promote them and let people know that you know who they are. Right, and how can people support Art Pop Street Gallery as so, well? So many different ways. We mm -hmm. um, we have partnership opportunities and sponsorship opportunities available. We are a nonprofit organization, so everything is tax deductible. And um, but there's so many different ways. We do events. We have an annual upcycled fashion show. Um, we make fashion out of billboards. Um, so cool. many exciting things that we do. Um, but supporting us and sharing us. Again, if you're not in a position for um, to donate money, mm -hmm. let somebody know about us connect us, right. introduce us to somebody who can. That really is one of the ways that I don't think people think about. They're like, mm -hmm. I, I can't afford to do this, but mm -hmm. just spreading the word and supporting yes. artists goes such a long way. 100%. Yes, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. So where can we go to follow you and find more from you? Because already, I mean, looking at that art, I, I got to see more. <laughs> oh, well, you can follow me at juniordesigns underscore at Instagram, mm -hmm. or you can go to my website at juniordesignsart.com. Perfect. And we can go to charlotteshout.com to find more information about all these events and I know that this is what 10 years of, of you guys yes yeah, so this Charlotte. year is our 10th year anniversary and this is our second year at shout we'll be in the Wells Fargo atrium this year and there's so much going on in the atrium it's not just art pop street gallery there's lots of activations mm -hmm. there but we'll be there every weekend with four different artists so exciting well thank you guys so much for being here thank today. you and again charlotteshout.com to find more information thank you so much you may be thinking wow he was calm and collected I was shook 
I was shook out of my mind. But the minute I started speaking, everything just kind of seemed so fluid and calm. Everybody kind of seemed on the same page. And the questions that they asked weren't really that difficult. I mean, I am an artist and they were showing my work. So I know what to say about it, right? So there was no really any reason to be nervous. Well, there, there is a lot of reasons to be nervous on live TV. All of that went away for some reason. I was just having fun and enjoyed the moment. So if you ever want to be on live TV, know that you can do it. You don't got to be nervous. It's all good fun. Just know that if you're nervous, there are other people around you that are nervous too. So whatever. And if you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. I would really love your support.